going to show you how to make a vinyl tassel from an off cut. For this I'm going to be using a tassel cap from part of a set, some E6000 glue which is an industrial strength jeweler's glue, a couple of straight edges and I'm going to use these quilting rulers for that, a chalk pen, an off cut and you can use a craft knife or if you prefer you can use a pair of scissors. The first thing that you need to do is measure the depth of your cap and it's got a flat bottom so it's going to start about here so I'm going to measure from there to about here because I want all the uh, tassel to fit up inside it and that's about six millimeters. Six millimeters is about a quarter of an inch. So we're going to draw a line that um, is six millimeters or quarter of an inch in. like that and this part will be the bit that ends up inside the end cap. Next thing that we want to do is prepare our lines so I found the easiest way is to tape the top of your vinyl, place your ruler on top with um, the marker on matching up with the end and then tape it down. This way nothing's going to move and you're going to get nice straight cuts. Then you're going to take your other straight edge and you're going to butt it up to uh, your ruler. And then all you need to do is decide how wide you want your uh, tassel uh, um, pieces. And mine are going to be five millimeters, which is about two eighths of an inch. And then just draw lines. And you're going to push this ruler along the edge of this one and just mark off evenly all the way along. Can now remove that. And you're just going to snip, I'm going to take this very end one off, and you're going to snip upwards to this line here. And you're going to carry on like that until you reach the end. Then once you've done that, you're going to rinse out your uh, pen and then it's all ready to start rolling. The other way of doing this with a craft knife is once again tape your vinyl down with your ruler on the line and you do more or less the same thing but this time instead of using a pen you're going to use your craft knife and it saves having to draw everything out as well. Just move it along and cut.
and that's now ready to use. Part two is to roll this up. Now I'm going to need about four inches or so for mine. So I'm just going to cut just over that. And then I'm going to start rolling. And you want to roll it really tight. And if possible, just stretch it a little bit so that it all coils neatly and tightly and forms a core. Now you want this to fit into your uh, cap and it needs to be a snug fit but not so that you have to battle with it. Now when I try and push that in this is curling so it's a little bit too long so all I'm going to do is snip off one of the tassels until it fits in nicely. Nearly there, I think one more and that'll be it. Oops, I didn't cut that one through properly enough. So that's a nice snug fit. So now we can go about gluing it. So be careful with this that you use it in a well ventilated area because it does have fumes and you will need to set it aside for 24 hours to cure. So I'm just going to get a bit of tissue. So I'm going to remove the cap from my glue and hope that it doesn't squeeze out everywhere. I'm going to take this off and then put my glue inside of the end cap. And then I'm just going to put it inside again and twist it in the direction of the coil until it won't go in any further. You don't need a lot of this glue. It does hold, as I said, it's industrial strength. So as long as you let that set and cure for 24 hours, it's not going to come apart. And it's as easy as that. And you can make fringe ones as well, like this one. You can do anything that you want, bigger ones. I hope you enjoyed this 10 minute quickie. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos as soon as they're published. Do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group. There's lots of ideas, help and inspiration there for everybody. And thank you very much for joining me. There's lots of information in the video description below, including where I get my supplies and some discount codes for you as well.